And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the Houston Astros. John Shambi on the play-by-play -play with you. Chris Singleton providing the color. It's been a heck of a series so far, Singy, and you have to figure that will only continue here in Game 6. You know, Boog, some of the greatest games in baseball history have been in Game 6, so I'm fired up for this one. And clearly, being at home with a 3-2 lead in the series is a huge advantage, but it's far from a guarantee. They've still got to go out there, handle their business, and not let this get to a Game 7. And the odds are obviously against any team trying to win a game six and game seven on the road. But it does happen. They don't consider this series over by any means. And we'll be back. First pitch right after this. First pitch moments away. And on the hill, Justin Verlander. Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, this team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. So just about set. Here's the veteran second baseman, Adam Frazier. Packed house here at Minute Maid. The why to kick the pitch. And down on strikes. And now one away. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look in, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. The other way. He's got it. And there's two away. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they... Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. On to the bottom of the first. No score. of the first and towing the slab here Marco Gonzalez what do we have on him anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance man it's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one does he have a feel for all of those pitches or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants now it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches but if he can oh. he is going to be very tough for the opponent today to one bounce to the left side and foul ball hammered and this one could be extra bases around first and hustling for second and he's there with a leadoff double It's not often someone hits a baseball this hard. It's worthy of the stack cast treatment, Singy. Well, I was anxious to see what that exit velo would be. And wow, 116 miles per hour. Stat cast absolutely lives for these moments. You know, it's so cool to get that kind of data back almost instantly. Michael Brantley stands in. No, Pitch misses inside. Two and one. Runner at second, nobody out. Next pitch is outside, and the count is three and one.
Ground ball right side. Frazier gloves it. Fires over to first. And they get Brantley for the out. Now we check out the Astros lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Now it's Alex Bregman. Next offering is foul back. The one two in the dirt well done behind the dish and he deals just misses with that one really good take especially with two strikes pretty well in the air out to center Lewis has this one sized up puts the squeeze on it runner tags from third throw home not in time to run scores and it's one nothing well it's a nice job right there it's always great when you can get on the scoreboard first just good situational hitting to bring him home from third right there digging in your Don Alvarez big time power and now the lefty he didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And that'll do it. On to the second inning now from Minute Maid Park. It's the Astros one and the Mariners nothing. Top of the second, now batting Mitch Hanniger. He has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties, and yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy, but the numbers say what they say. Next pitch is outside. Oh, he's a good player, but if he wants to be great, he's going to have to figure it out against right-handed pitchers. There's so many right-handers in the game that you're going to see them one after another. So you would imagine with that many looks, Boog, that the adjustments got to be coming soon. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Boog, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. The wind of the pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. A. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Clearly he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Ripped on a line. McCormick makes the catch. And there's two down.
this is Kyle Lewis. And here it comes. And that one missing low. Yeah, the 2 1 hammered, but foul. a swing and a miss. That's out number three. Mariners leave one, and it remains one nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. hit left side on to France and Guriel is out batting six the right field Kyle Tucker here's Kyle Tucker Next offering is down low. And the count is three and one. and deals got him looking that's out number two this guy will throw any pitch in any count three two he goes off speed gets the out and next to hit for Houston Chaz McCormick kicks and fires that clips the inside corner for a strike Two outs. Stays alive. Ball. Next pitch misses inside. And the count's full. Two down, nobody on. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. McCormick off of first with two away. offering is in for a strike the pitch hit on the ground to the right side that one sizzling on its way through to the outfield they stopped the lead runner at second now two on with two outs well he found himself behind in the count right there but he didn't give in I really like that swing man he didn't just push it the other way through the infield he drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there, and that one hops the wall. The relay to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. 
Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Rips one to right. That's a base hit. And they hold him at third. 90 feet away with two out. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. Runners on first and third, two away. Right side. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. That is the inning. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now 3-0. top half of the third inning and now for Seattle Jared Kelnick well after putting up a nice inning on offense got some runs across this is where you look for the starter to go out there have a shutdown inning don't give that other team any hope uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning get the bats back up there while they're hot swing and a pop off in foul ground and that drops foul Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one away in the top of the third. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. So here's Murphy now. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Bregman is under it. Out number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. The wind of the pitch. Tap to first. He'll do it himself. Out. out number three. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Astros three and the Mariners nothing. Back here in Houston as we go to the last of the third. Now at the plate, Alex Bregman. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Swing and a bouncer. On to first. And they get Bregman for the out. Here's Jordan Alvarez. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. On the ground to the left, Suarez picks it up, zips it to first, and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. The first baseman, number 10. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And a pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. 
Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. That's hard hit in the line. Kelman makes the catch, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Astros. But they lead it 3 nothing. to the fourth and now the first baseman Ty France singing one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore so when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this do you think of that as plus value this one swung on and hit well way back there feeling for the wall as he makes the catch Here's Jesse Winker. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. A towering home run. That's his fourth home run of the series. And they cut into the lead. It's 3-1. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. This one popped up. Altuve under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. And the pitch. And he walked him. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Right-hander kicks, deals. This to third. They take the force out, and that is that. The Mariners pick up a run thanks to this solo homer. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Four. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. Perfectly executed 12-6 curveball right there. And with that kind of break, if you can drop it in below the zone like that, it's going to look like a strike the entire way coming in and then just disappear. So hard to get under the ball unless you're really gearing up for it and you might need a pitching wedge. Chaz McCormick will hit next. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Next pitch is outside. The belt and fires just off the outside part of the plate. That's where you want it. It's a good miss.
Payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The pitch. Foul ball there. Three two on the way. That one to first. France steps on the bag. And that is the inning. We played four. It's the Astros three and the Mariners one. Back here in Houston, leading off Kyle Lewis. Next pitch inside. The count now two and two. Righty to the plate. And that one in the air center field. McCormick settles underneath it, brings it in, one away. Here's Jerry Kelnick. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And the righty deals. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way if it's fair, out of here. A solo shot. His second homer this series. And they slice into the lead. It's 3-2. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So one out, nobody on. Now it's Tom Murphy. That one in for a strike, two and two. And a pitch. And that's outside. And a pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Here's Adam Frazier. Hater deals. Hit hard on the ground is short, and it finds its way through for a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Fastball pretty much middle middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. Ty France up next for the Mariners. The 2-1 found back our way and that's out of play he's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam that's next pitch misses inside and the count's Down full And fouled off. Two on, one out. Left field. Brantley settles under this one. Makes the catch. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat now it's the dh jesse winker he's already homered here in this one oh. 
swing and a miss. Now one and two. So the tying run at second. In the air, left side. And forget it. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And that's how they take the lead. It's 5-3. And with that blast, you could hear a pin drop here in the ballpark. That's an incredible job of letting that breaking ball get deep, trusting your hands, and driving it out the other way. That's how you practice it in the cage. Incredible when you can translate it into the ball game. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Mitch Hanniger. And a one-two. And now two and two. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 5-3 ball game. Bottom of the inning, at the plate is the Astros catcher, Martin Maldonado. So now three and two, and a foul ball, he stays alive. Chopped left side, Suarez picks it up, tosses to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now batting, the second baseman, Jose. Jose Altuve up to hit here. And he deals. Altuve swings and connects. Deep to left. Bangs off the wall. Throws to second. The tag and they cut him down going for two. Now Michael Brantley steps in. The count two and one. Hit weakly on the ground. Suarez collects, sends it across to first, and they get Brantley for the out. Play made, that ends the inning. Nothing doing there for Houston. Still a two-run deficit. It's 5-3. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Bill Maton. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's a big power threat. A. Eugenio Suarez. Two one, and a good eye there. Bullpen activity starting up now. Blake Taylor getting ready to go. Right-handed reliever. That one fouled hard the other way. pitch and a swing and a miss down on strikes now one gone at the top of the sixth here's the shortstop at the play J.P. Crawford this one high in the air to left center McCormick, he ranges to his right, flashes the leather on the run and catch. Two up, two down. The center fielder, number one, Kyle Lewis. 
Kyle Lewis up next for the Mariners. Going to count one and two. Well, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Up the middle, and a base hit right there. And that extends the inning. Now, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. And up next for Seattle, Jared Kellner. It was a homer for him back in the fifth. Just a solo shot, but an important swing in this game. Yeah, and it was a beautiful swing as well. Everything just came together timing-wise, and he blasted it out of here. The pitch. And now two balls and a strike. Lewis, the runner at first with two gone. Up the middle, and there's a hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. First and second, two down. And now the catcher comes up to him, Tom Murphy. The next pitch misses, and a count two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Righty delivers, and it's fouled away. Mayton, he's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff, that results in a ton of strikeouts. In a tough spot like this, that is a big-time benefit. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. Part of the order. 3-4-5 coming up. It's the M's 5 and the Astros 3. Here at Minute Maid Park, bottom of the six. And now it's Alex Bregman. Oh, as a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. Kicks and fires. Grab ball up the middle. The throw to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. One down, base is empty. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Some activity in the Mariners bullpen. Sergio Romo, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Basevich, a left-hander, also throwing. Here's the two-two. Stays alive.
but it curls foul. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Yuli Gurriel. Two outs. Gurriel gets a piece. And now it's one and two. That smash towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. They're still down five, three. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Blake Taylor. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh. Here's the Seattle leadoff man, Adam Frazier. And a 1-1. Back to the mound. To first. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. Stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. gone now. Now it's the Mariners DH. Jesse Winker. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now if he did. to this part of the order yeah there's some pop there but more likely there's some base hits so very important to be patient let the pitcher walk you if he will left hand batter waits swinging a foul back that's out of play oh now this one is blasted to right forget it Way back there and gone. He circles the bases, and they add a run. It's 6-3. Wow, he's putting on an absolute show in this one and there's no better time than the postseason to go off at the plate like this I mean a three homer game always special but pulling it off in October during the biggest games of the year that's incredible base is empty with two away and now it's going to be Mitch Hanniger that misses the zone and it's two and one a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. And here it comes. Ball. And that's outside. Full count. And a 
and a pitch. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Banks off the wall. The throw in. But he's in there easily. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Pedro Baez. The human rain delay. He's sped up this year, though. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Eugenio Suarez up next for the Mariners. A strikeout and a walk. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. pitch inside two balls two strikes man on second two down and a swing and a miss the hat trick good job and damage control right there solo blast adds to the Seattle lead it's now 6-3. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Sergio Romo. And he'll work on holding this lead. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. Here's a 1-1. Just missed. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one fouled off, 2-2. Two and two. At the belt and fires. On the ground. Gets it to first, and Tucker is retired. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Here's a speed threat. Chaz McCormick. The pitch. And now the count. One and two after the swing and the miss. One and two now. Stays alive. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Squeezes it, and there's two away. The batter, number three, shortstop, Jeremy Pena. And now the shortstop, Jeremy Pena, one for two. The 1-1. One, one. No. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. the ground right side France takes it to the bag and the Astros put down in order Astros are down quietly 
and can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Welcome back. We go to the eighth, and here is J.P. Crawford. And the righty deals. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. And that one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Kyle Lewis getting ready to hit. And a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Two two now. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Oh, I think he was waiting on the changeup right there, and he got it. It just drifted too far in on him. I think. That pitch is just a little more out over the plate. Probably squares it up, but instead, he's going to have to go take a seat. Now the left fielder, Jared Kelman. He's already homered in this game. And a foul ball. Next one misses, and the count is even two and two. And now it's filled up. Three and two now. Right side, hard hit. Oh, look at the stop. And they get the out. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Tom Murphy up next for the Mariners. And he deals. Swing and a miss as he was late. Two. And there's a ball. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One left for Seattle, but they still lead it 6 3. for the Mariners, Diego Castillo. Number 63, Diego Castillo. Welcome back. Out of the bottom of the eighth at the play. Martin Maldonado. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller good at framing but it's that big arm that really stands out and that's ball four what a battle it's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch and I tell you what he earned that wall so the Houston lineup turns over Jose Altuve now at the plate
Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Ground ball could be two. Over to Frazier. And that's two. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Michael Brantley. Here's a 1-1. That misses off the outside edge. That one missed. Three one. And strike two. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Here's Alex Bregman. And he dodges that fastball. Two balls, one strike. Brantley off of first with two away. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And he gets Bregman. Inning over. One left for Houston, and they're still doubled up. It's six to three. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound, and he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Number 55, Ryan. Back here at Minute Maid Park. All set for the start of the inning. And now for Seattle, Adam Frazier. Ball to strike. Out towards right center field. And that gets down into the gap. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Ty France up next for the Mariners. And the right-hander deals. There's a strike. And the 2-2. Line drive. Applies the tag. And they get two. Double play. In now is the Mariners' DH, Jesse Winker. And a chance to make some history here, Chris. Yeah, he's homer three times so far. And now he gets another chance. At least we think. We'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit it's so rare to see a three homer performance but even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four the pitch and he grounds one back up the middle has some trouble with it but in time nice job to stay with it to end the inning Now on the bump, Paul Seawald. Now pitching for Seattle, number 37, Paul Seawald. Back.
back here in Houston. Last chance for the home team. Here's some real power at the plate. You're Don Alvarez. Next pitch inside. Two balls and a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. I'll tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. Here's Guriel. Righty delivers. No, And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one's carrying. Grabs it right up against the wall. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle. So two down now, and here is Kyle Tucker, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And yeah, there's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Tucker off of first with two away. Breaks his bat and pops it up. And that'll do it. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. Six three, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.